Geothermal energy is a source of energy which is sustainable and renewable and is available around the world. Many countries have the potential of it and some of them are actually using it. Uh, it works on the principle of sending a liquid to the depth and bringing it back to the surface when it is hot enough to extract the heat and power and turn a turbine which produces electricity for us. In Iceland, we have a lot of systems like that. One of the first countries who actually implemented this technique, you need boreholes. Boreholes are deep wells which reach the depth of the earth where the heat is enough. You don't need even to have a volcanic system anywhere nearby. The depth increases the heat. In Swartzengi, we have both the depth and the magma source at the depth, which provides us with the energy. There are many boreholes in that area, and the boreholes can measure the pressure when the magma on the Swartzengi arrives and is inflating there. The borehole one records high pressure, but the borehole two may not record it in other locations where the narrow part you can see to the center and the right, and that means. The land is rising, the magma is there, present, or is uh, adding to that mass of the magma. But when the magma finds a way to move, borehole 2, which is probably uh, less than, slightly less than 2 kilometers, will record an steam pressure higher than the normal. That's the moment that the magma is moving laterally toward, for example, in this case, the Grindavik Rift Valley, and is going to erupt. When such a thing happens, in the area which was the right above the magma reservoir, we will have a decline in pressure. And that is what happened in the Swartzengi power plant recently. We had to evacuate the uh, power plant, although it was a possibility that this is due to an error, and maybe due to an error, but we could not take the risk. The Blue Lagoon, which is nearby, didn't evacuate because the Icelandic authorities in the Icelandic Meteorological Office, they didn't agree with that. But we had a similar situation in the past. In January 24, we had a rise in the pressure of one of the boreholes, and then we had a rise in the seismic activity. We had earthquakes, then eruption. This was the eruption which actually sliced through the defensive wall to the right, you can see it here, of the Grindavik, and practically entered the uh, boundaries of the town, burnt a few houses, and it was a dramatic situation. It may happen again. So we cannot take a risk. Geothermal power plant took the uh, right decision to evacuate. And the Blue Lagoon also did the right thing. By following what the Icelandic Meteorological Office was agreeing with that. And that's the risk is not still there.